No, manager Ian Lung, um, great, great win tonight. Yeah, it was, yeah, very important. Um, obviously, uh, it was always going to be a tough game. They're a big physical side, very direct. And um, yeah, fantastic results and clean sheet as well, which is always pleasing. And we're in the quarterfinals of the cup. Um, we face Palsall Villa, who knocked out Calsa. So, you know, we're paying them <coughs> the respect that they deserve. And um, hopefully we can, we can progress in this competition all the way. So we're, do, we're doing it the hard way, really. Um, you know, Westfield's in the last round, um, Lytown in this round. So yeah, they potentially could and, have been and Calcer the, in the quarterfinals if yeah, Palsall hadn't exactly, done so. They yeah. couldn't really have hand-picked it much harder. Um, and if we, if, you know, if we can get past Palsall, we'll have a, a tough header, head-to-header, um, against the well, against uh, Highgate, wouldn't we? Yeah. A two-legged affair, which again, local derby, would be really tough. And the, uh, the cup squad fared in well. Yeah, the <laughs> cup squad's done great. Yeah, getting some stick for that, but no, you know, with strength in depth, really important. Showed it against Westfields, and I thought, you know, I thought we deserved to win today. I thought we we played the, the best football. I thought it was the only side that played football. To be perfectly honest, I got the, yeah, I, I the agree, and I think uh, I think chances wise, I think there was um, some good chances for us in in the first half in particular, and probably. Wouldn't have done us any injustice if we came in three three up at half time, really. Yeah, they started the game quite well, in all fairness. <coughs> First 10 15 minutes, I thought they had a couple of chances, they hit the post. Um, but I think we went on to dominate the second half of the first half, so to speak. Um, yeah, and, and obviously, I think the clear cut chances came to us, and we've got to be better with them, we've got to be more clinical, especially with the better sides where you don't get so many chances. Um, and that's something that we're going to have to little do, perhaps a little bit of shooting in training and work on some drills in training for that. And obviously, um, looking looking ahead, uh, obviously tonight was a precursor to um, the the league encounter um, Saturday week. Do you take anything from tonight going into that game? Um, no, not really. Um, we know we know we know what we're going to expect from them. They're very physical. They're very direct. Um, I thought on another day, you know, potentially they could have had a sending off. I thought Scott Gennard was looking to stay on the pitch. Um, we get a couple of lads booked, one for standing, getting the ball blasted at him for standing on the ball, which is disappointing. I just thought the referee let three or four tackles go, which probably you know other referees would have booked. So I was a little bit disappointed in that. And once them bookings have been given out, you know then players are on tight ropes then, and they they can't go around charging around and throwing themselves into tackles like they did. So a little bit disappointed with the referee on that to be perfectly honest um, like I say Scott again I just spoke to him just in the bar and he agrees he was looking to stay on the pitch so yeah. ok and um, any special sort of praises tonight or just a good all round team effort I mean there were some good individual performances I thought out there tonight yeah I think Ryan Winwood's you know, he's great to have him back from injury I think he makes a big difference to us gets on the ball a lot of energy does very well but everybody really, you know, uh, Mark Smith has come back into the side. I thought he was superb. He I think they looked solid at the back there, didn't they? Yeah, really into the... yeah he, he, you know, he relaxes us and gets us playing as well from the back. And, you know, I thought, you know, and Baba at left back, I thought, did a excellent job there. Really. Yeah, and he's come in for Zach Foster. And <coughs> you know, he, he don't let us down at all. And it's a good problems to have for myself, really, because, you know, they, um, we ask him to give us headaches. And the Westfield game... And today's game, which certainly have given us some headaches and some food for thought, really. And uh, is it a free week on Saturday? Is there, is there anything lined up on Saturday? Or? <clears throat> well, we're just discussing it just in the bar. We've, um, we've got potentially we could play Stourport if we want. Uh, I think what we'll do Thursdays, we'll train Thursday. Uh, some lads who've played tonight will have a, a lighter session than lads who haven't had any minutes tonight or little minutes. You know, substitutes that have come on. We'll do a little bit extra, um, and I think what we're going to do, we've just discussed it, like I say, we're going to give them Saturday off, uh, I think they've earned it, they've been playing a lot of football, a lot of Saturday, Tuesday stuff uh, on heavy pitches, so give them Saturday off, go and spend some time with the families, or the girlfriends, and then we'll try and Tuesday, Thursday in preparation for the, uh, the Loy game in the league. Okay, alright then mate, thanks for your time. Thank you. <coughs>